Welcome. Welcome to, to another, another episode, episode of Driving, Driving to the Rest with your favorite hosts, Inelia and Larry. Yes. <laughs> We're I missed the cue, but hey. Yeah, you were I looking up. out the window. I'm not sure why. I was looking at the pretty boats. <laughs> well, we're going to start, and then he's like... Da, 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 <laughs> looking at the pretty boats. Look at the pretty boats. Today, we thought we would talk about the big secret we've been holding for all this time on the project that I've been talking about. Why were you waiting anyways? Uh, it's about... Um, what you share with the people and what, who you share with when you have a big project, yeah. a big manifestation project. Keep it close to your chest. Yep. And yep. tell it, and tell it um, solidifies. Exactly. Otherwise, and, what can happen? Well, you can share with individuals who are fully on supporting you, like 100%. Oh, yeah. But if you have any doubts on anyone or people you don't know personally, then I would, I would say don't share it because it has like a... If they have any negatives around it, those negative energies will be pushed against your manifestation drive uh-huh. and will make it a little bit harder, basically. Yeah, we don't need harder in the manifestations. No. no, you want instant manifestation. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So, what's the reveal? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I already know, but I want everybody else to know. We, a, a group of individuals, some, most of whom uh, took part in the Insta Manifestation workshop that I gave in January. Was it January or February? Yep. February? Yep. Yeah. Um, got together and decided one of our items was intentional community and getting some land for our intentional community. So basically we got organized to those individuals who really wanted to partake in that project. And we raised funds and we bought 47 acres with uh, that is on a beach, it's actual beach property. It's also a landslide and it's also fuss, full of fossils, full of fossils. So we call it Fossil Beach. <laughs> we got 50 acres of fossil beach, a half a mile of beach. Yes, with half a mile of beach. A half a mile of real beach. Mm-hmm. And we raised the money ourselves, amongst ourselves. Yep. And we just put our money in a pot and yep. bought it. And some, uh, one of the interesting parts about it was that a lot of individuals said, okay, I can only put in so much. X, Y, Z, yeah. X, Y, Z. Like, say, $5,000. That's my max. I'm yeah. maxed out. And then next week, they say, I just instantly manifested another 10000 so I can go in another ten. And it's just going on and on. Some individuals turned into a millionaire. Yeah, that was pretty Hearing dang amazing. Yeah, I was, was like, good. come on, come on, my turn, come on. Yeah. I got to clear my, what's it called, poverty programs? Yes. Clear my poverty be. programs, open up my wealth lines, come on now. <laughs> yeah, there's some stock auctions that their companies had given them years ago and stuff like that. Yeah. Suddenly just went all, Bing. all of a sudden they came to be. Yeah. So, you know, we did, uh, at least I did, um, and you did too, because you told us now was a good time to buy some bitcoins. That's so, right. Yeah, we did. So, yeah, that certainly a helped. A couple of individuals made that tens of thousands of dollars on just um, cryptocurrencies that I suggested you buy, <laughs> which is kind of cool if you think about it. We're going to the red. Show us that logo. Yeah. <laughs> the, what's that called? Checkpoint. A checkpoint at the res line. Not the res line. It's not the res line. It's basically the res line. Yeah, I guess. There's a res line over there, too, but a, this is yes. the guarded line. The guarded line. Uh-huh. No one may enter. No one may enter. Unless approved. Or leave. Or leave without... Good reason. Good reason. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> it's good thing. Bad thing. Good it's thing, funny, not thing. funny. Good, not good. good. It's everything. It's hard to complain about. It's one of those regular old. Hey, are we going to have a res line on our property? We have a res line on the property. High frequency <laughs> only. High frequency only. Mm-mm-mm. That's right. And we have a wire, and uh, one of our landowners, he bought a bunch of um, signs, and they go from various levels of. You know, first, the first sign is no unauthorized, whatever, whatever, is private property. You know, the normal whatever, whatever's. And then a little further in, he's got another sign. It's something along the lines of... 
No more uh, warning shots. <laughs> the ammunition is expensive, so there's no more warning shots. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next one, a little bit further on. Have you met Jesus? Keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> you will. <laughs> and you will. Uh, they're kind of funny. They're but actually funny. He, yeah, they're kind of hilarious. I mean, they're hilarious in a... Um, <laughs> aggressive sort of way. Yes, in a very aggressive sort <laughs> of way. But they did work on our land. Our friend who got the signs, he said he was driving down a road and he had a do not trespass sign and he just went right through it and he went a little farther and then he saw the have you met Jesus <laughs> sign. He was like, oh, darn, I'm turning turn around. around. He did not want to meet Jesus yet. Yeah. yeah. There's some really funny ones, really, really funny ones. Yeah, there he he got a big pile of funny ones, but you know, funny not funny ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the reason you want to put the signs up is because um, high frequency people only one. Mm -hmm. uh, where are we at? Where it's located? It's uh, very tempting for people yeah. who would be camping. Yeah, and, and they campers, trash the place. They trash campers it. that are low frequency are not fun to have oh. on your property. They they drink. They crack. drink, they crash, they break glass, you kind of stuff like that. So yeah, they poop and they just leave it laying around. Right. So their by their their rules are you post it and give warning and then they yep, won't. And right. if you don't post it, then they will. Exactly. Yeah. I guess that's the agreement. Mm -hmm. One of the things I was thinking is we landscape the front of the entrances, and that usually deters people when it's beautifully landscaped with flower pots and things. Because they say, oh, somebody lives there, so they don't go into it, you know. Yeah. That worked too. So, anyways, uh, one of the things that I wanted to share about this experience was all the work that we did. We had to, like, all of us and everybody that decided to partake in this, had to process the lone wolf, like, so much. So much. Um, and also poverty programs and gosh uh the wor worthiness programs as well oh no everybody's really everybody else has raised so much money. money what about me what about me or i'm giving they like, know so much and they do this and this and the other and i'm not doing anything and i don't know how to do that and oh gosh oh it's like all the people who are there have to do all the labor and the hard work and i i live on the other side of the country so i'm like, you know i'm not worthy Oh, we had so many, so many firewalls and programs and um, fears that we had to process for this to gel and happen. But we advanced. Um, there was a very short window of opportunity to get that land, very, very small. And I could feel it closing. <laughs> you could, could too. You're like, it. guys. Really a week. Have to do it. You got a week. I know. It's like end whatever of you gotta process, do it. <laughs> because I just I could feel it. It was closing real fast, but everybody wanted to take more time, think about it, and you know, just look at everything first. And it's like no. Nope. Get all the things organized. You can always first. change your mind later. Just you know, if you want to do it, just do it now. You can change your mind later. We'll figure that one out. Yeah. And uh, finally, we go. I said we've only got a week. There by the Friday, it's gonna be gone. And we got in the the offering one day, and we immediately the, that same day there was another offer. Remember? The, no, no, it was like a day before they were they were they had an, an offer for one or two days that they were negotiating. They were already in negotiations with this other offer that was cash offer. And um, I looked at it and I thought, oh my gosh, well it has to be a full price offer, and. Um, we should get it, but the opportunity is tiny, really small. Yeah. So we did was. that, and yeah, she accepted it. The one, all the previous owner accepted it, but then she had all sorts of contingencies and things. And well, that's kind of interesting too, because we decided we were going to finance it because um, yes. you know we did the raise mortgage. the money, but we only Deposit. had raised enough for the down payment, yeah, which down is like payment. ten, twenty percent or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ten percent or twenty? Um, I don't remember. Because it was land, bare land, yeah. rural land, something like that, they had a little bigger down payment. I think it was 20%. I think you might be right, yeah. So, it was uh, something we like so 60000 or 70000 yeah, or 80000 I don't know. We had to raise up 
more money than any one individual of us really wanted to put out. But as a group, ten people, yeah, we could raise five, six thousand a piece. Exactly. We could do that easy. Well, you know, easier for some, easier for others, a little bit more process for others. But, but don't forget that we just came out of the so many station workshops. So we just, yes. yeah, yeah. It was doable. Doable. Really. So uh, we did it. We went through the process and we found uh, a loan company who said they could do it. We got all the way to the end and they said, oops, sorry, we can't do it. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. No, they didn't. Yeah. No. Yeah, we switched to a different one. We went through two or three different ones, but the, oh, the going through the, the two or three different loan days. people yeah, yeah. was part of the process, the processing. Yes. Once we processed, there was an obstruction with how it was going to, who was going yes. to front the purchase. Right. Right. When I say front the purchase, it's like, you don't put 10 people on the loan, you know, just one or two. Oh, right. Yes, 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 yes. Uh Right. So part of the instant manifestation workshop had to do with um, why's. Yes. um, Why, why not? uh, Why not now? Why now? All these type of things. Right. Oh, if if you guys are interested in the instant manifestation workshop, we're going to actually be releasing that in the ibensacademy.com. So um, that's coming soon. So if you're interested, sign up for the newsletter there, ibensacademy.com. And uh, when we release that workshop, then you can sign up and do it. It's totally worth it. And it's a coached workshop. It's, it's not. It's what coached, yeah. It's, it's not coached. just like here's a here's a workshop. You go it. Hopefully you do good. You you have a. It's yeah. We aim for completion. There's gonna be classes and course uh, like course material lectures and uh, facilitators. facilitators to help you along yeah, the process with your homework and everything else while we were doing this yeah. and you the know, groups of the students are in care well they're going to be working together and with each other and it's going to be great yeah while we were doing the workshop it was very apparent that having other people look at the issues the whys the details the believable stories and things like that with you was i mean night and day difference between you trying to figure it out on your own Mm-hmm. And you have someone to bounce the ideas off who's experienced and understands, you know, some of the pitfalls that you run into. So that's kind of what we ran into in buying this land. We ended up going through two or three different loan companies who all at first said they could and then just stopped even answering your call. You yeah, know, it's right. like, what happened? They fell off the, so we they said they're calling back said, tomorrow okay, and then they never called us back. So we got together and said, okay, so who's going, who's got what, who's, who's got, who's got negative negative around thoughts around or ideas or yeah. what are the issues? So we looked at those and processed those. Found them, processed them and the yeah. very next day, bang. Boom. Everything was like, long company long says, go. absolutely no problem. We got it. Yeah. Oh, remember one time they even had a accident where the loan company thought we were talking about different land. That's right. <laughs> and I kept saying, they're looking said, at a different You're not land. qualified for that loan because yeah. this is a house area. Yeah. It's like, what? Well, this isn't a house area. There's no houses here. Yeah. That was and I quite said, funny. Oh, no, no, they've got the wrong, they've got the they wrong They've got the wrong plot. So, so we, we go, checked. Yeah, yeah. sure. We had the wrong path. After we processed a little bit of yes, stuff. We, did. we had to process the then stuff. Then we called them up back. and then they got straightened up in like one minute. So uh, at some point where we had gone to all of this approval with a company and we turned in our uh, offer for the land and the lady accepted our offer, everything was gangbuster perfect, uh, except for we needed to get a valuation of it. Is that what they call it? Yes. Um, assess, assessment. An assessment. Property assessor had to show up. Yeah. And uh, plans from foresters and uh, there was a few little hoops to to roll through in order to close. Yes. And the lady we're buying the land from wanted us to close in like two weeks. Yes. And the loan company said, well, not gonna happen. A, a miracle can happen. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's probably not likely. Mm-hmm. And uh, sure enough, as we went through that process, more things started popping in, right? The lady who could do the uh, property valuation Remember, she had just had a baby that I morning. Know. Yeah, she, yeah. And she still answered our texts, even though yeah. she had just, gave just birth. gave birth. <laughs> like, my gosh, lady. Yeah. You could take the morning off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't do it this week. I can't do it this birth. week. <laughs> I'm going to be busy with my brand new baby <laughs> this week. I can't like, walk right now. <laughs> maybe next week. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's good. That's fine. Next week. Oh, my gosh. That was quite funny. Yeah. But, uh, uh, it kind of looked like we were going to get to the end of our uh, our offer period and not have our loan 
done, right? Mm -hmm. So we would need to get an extension on our agreement, purchase agreement. Yeah. And every time you um, change your purchase agreement, that opens up the other side for know, adding in negotiating yeah. items. So like, we need another month? Okay, well, we need another $10,000. Exactly, yeah. That kind of stuff. So uh, as we got closer, it it was a it was a it felt like there was a day in there. It was like one of those choice point days where it was like go for it or don't. Yeah. And people who were there who were in for a dime, in for a dollar, in for a thought, they had to like totally click. Yes, it's ours. Yeah. Or I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes. It felt like a day happened, and when that day happened. The seller called us and said, don't worry about all the other stuff. I'll loan you the money. Yes. Remember that? Yes. <laughs> all like, owner finance no. it. We don't need all this property assessments, yeah. all but this other you stuff. you half down, not 10%. Yeah, instead of 10% down, though, you're going to need to put 50% down. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> let me tell you what. You want to have a, what's it called? A uh, supercharge your um, money lines. <laughs> <laughs> Put yourself on the line with 10 high-frequency people. Yes. It was oh amazing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's a really real miracle started happening. It's, like, amazing. Left, right, and center. Really, yeah. really fast. Yeah, we had to more than double what we were trying to gather and gather it and yes. gather it quickly. Yeah. And commit to gathering it before we even necessarily had it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And we had one little twist added in, remember? Oh, the word? Well, there was two twists. Okay. <laughs> Remember the pay the um, broker or pay the um, real estate agent? Oh, she, she, that's right. She added that. She agreed yeah. she would be our financer, but we had to pay the realtor. Yes. Well, which added realtors. another $10,000 on. Both realtors, yeah. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Or our own. Because usually the seller pays for the buyer's realty yeah. fees. Yeah, that's right. She wanted us to buy a pay our own realtor. Yeah. Which fortunately we have the best realtor on, on the, the planet. Uh, planet. Really and she agreed and negotiated her fee down. Yes, she did. She uh, did. Which was she very did. nice of her. Super, super so if anybody nice. wants to buy a house on the peninsula, on let the us know. peninsula let's area, let us know. We have a realtor and she is good. She is good. But yeah. Yeah, we got our 50% raise. We did. We got our extra raised for paying the fees. Mm -hmm. And we saved a whole bunch because yeah. we didn't have to pay the loan um, things and other fees. stuff. So we kind of like, yeah. we ended Loan up fees. about the same yeah, number. Well, we Even though we had to pay a little extra for yeah. one thing, we lost uh, not having to pay for other things. So exactly. it, was, it was okay. Yeah, the assessment fee, the loan fees, and all that type of stuff we, need, we didn't have to pay for as well. I mean, this doesn't, maybe it doesn't sound super interesting talking about the process of buying land, but. I think it's what, interesting. What was interesting was that it had the sense of it's, it had the sense of it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. And then something would sneak its way in, right? Yes. yes. And you would sense, oh, things are a little wobbly, uh -huh. wobbly. Yeah. And then and we would have a call. A newsletter, uh, I mean, uh, an email or something. A email call or a text. Oh no, something's going on. Something's out. wrong. We need to double this fee, or this uh, wood has to be done, or we need to renegotiate, or these yeah. things would come in. And then when we would talk as a group, yes, we would and find that something had come in. In one or more of us, holding some sort of pro program, or started a new relationship, or and somebody else basically linked in or changed. It broke up in a relationship yeah. and that changed yeah. things so as every every time these things. manifestors things, yeah. that were gathered changed yeah. individually who yeah, was linked fields. in through them yeah. and their field changed that our group it manifestation fields. instantly showed yeah. a response it did yeah. totally did remember yes that's right it was really fascinating it's been really fascinating the reason why i became interested in doing something like this well there's several reasons one of them is i still I'm working on the experiment in, in community, which we started with Walk With Me Now in 2014. And it has evolved and developed and grown so much. It's amazing. And recently we've had so many new members bringing in such good like energy, you know, and a depth of 
interesting things and it's been quite quite great and of course we have members that have been with us since the beginning and everything in between so there's been a huge evolution of this experiment and for me this was the next step it's like okay let's get some land and start creating like decentralized little uh, villages kind of thing um, with individuals who are high frequency and in this particular um, intentional community everybody knows and does the work that I teach so it's really good to have individuals who are empowered sovereign who know their own mind who uh, can follow their own high frequency uh, higher self advice they're not dependent or codependent in any way to anyone so it's really fascinating they do the fear processing exercise they do their the ego exercises everything Gaia exercises and it's so refreshing we don't have to hold our hand to carry them through stuff you know like it's been my experience in the past everyone's a uh, bride or a groom of Gaia too they... yes they're all brides and grooms of Gaia they're all very interested in ecology and yeah. health and when they ask for it hey this is what's come up you know we'll look at it together we look at it together yeah. and there's no giant Including ego us. response of oh well that's not me exactly it's yeah. like oh, oh yeah, fuck, yeah good. Good. thanks for too. seeing that now yeah. I, I see it too yeah. thank you yeah. it's like able 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 and capable yes and really that's refreshing. extremely refreshing yes so yeah <laughs> it's really fascinating <laughs> for me that that was the interest i wanted to do that not to and mention you plus, love fossils. Plus, exactly the other side of it, right? Plus, <laughs> the physical side of it is that it's an amazing piece of property. It's absolutely stunning, stunning. And it's a mile of beach full of fossils and beautiful rocks. And what are those see-through rocks called? Uh, oh, crystal, quartz crystals? No. Agates. Well, it's agates. It's full of agates and quartz. And, oh my God, it's just gorgeous. Yep, it is gorgeous. And... Uh, it was uh, interesting, too, because uh, the road's closed, right? Uh-huh, You yeah. couldn't even find it. They should yeah. put up the signs in the middle of a snowstorm <laughs> behind yes. the road's closed sign because there's landslides. There was a landslide then <laughs> up the road. From so the road. it was, like, completely advertised to nobody. Yes. Although when I said the window was tiny. Yes, the window was it. tiny. The window there was, was some, tiny. There was a buyer already, you know? Yeah. Maybe, like, five people could have possibly driven by there. Yes, and seen the sign. And seen the sign. Mm -hmm. And the land down the street just past the sign got sold like in a day or something. Good. <laughs> For double the price. Double the price. Things around here have been selling like nuts crazy fast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been quite fascinating to watch. And so, uh, those that know us know that we had been looking at 20 acres of land by the beach but it only had a it's tiny a, bit of beach remember it, it didn't and have it a really beach. does that beach rock. it has a cliff a cliff massive massive cliff with rocks at the bottom yeah. and high seas <laughs> and the guy wanted 1.5 million dollars oh like, freaking ridiculous my gosh. freaking ridiculous so uh we still tried to raise the money for it we did and we didn't make any like, headway yeah. Happen, yeah. He even gave us a deal, remember? Half off. Oh, yeah, he said, don't tell anyone. No, don't tell anyone. 350. That's <laughs> it. Yeah, no. <sighs> no. So, we got 50 acres instead with fossils. And a mile of, and a actual, mile of beach. Beach. actual beach. Actual beach. Yeah. Yep. And anyway, a we're wonderful very group of people it. for it. Yeah, a wonderful group of individuals. Now the interesting second bit, which is, you know, besides the paying it off, which it's not going to be a tough thing. Also, um, incorporating Global Ascension Center into a portion of it. Yes. Sounds really freaking awesome because a portion of that beach is um, perfect for Global Ascension Center. Yes, it's perfect. And um, incorporating how do you exist next to sacred land mm -hmm. or and sacredize your land itself even right. how do you um and the good thing good thing bad thing right it's off-grid land mm -hmm. meaning there's no electricity there 
No water, no sewer. Oh my god, we slept so good then. Gosh. Our first night, the first night that we um, got ownership. Yes. We slept there. We took our camp. We our were camper. coming back from Oregon, so we yeah. stopped there. We stopped there, and we've been camping, and we get up in the morning, like nine o'clock, eight o'clock. Tired. Tired <laughs> from the driving and all the EMFs and everything around. Make some coffee. We got to get the road. We finally hit the road at 10 o'clock or something, you know. Well, we got to the land at like about 8 o'clock sunset. Mm -hmm. Hang around on the fire and had to stew with everybody. Yes. Everybody left at about 9.45 or close to 10 o'clock. Close to 10, I think, yeah. Yeah. So we went to bed and it was, we closed the gate, which is like, from where we parked at one end, we had to walk about a mile to get to the gate. <laughs> like, what happened? This place got bigger. <laughs> it did get bigger, especially in the middle of the night. Especially in the middle of the night. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we closed the gate and we're tiptoeing back to the camper. Actually, I know you had not scared of nothing. No, I wasn't scared. And I was like, well, Hanging on very I'm with close. her. I'm with her, so no beasts are going to get us. <laughs> yeah, there's no, I think the nearest electric pole is five miles away or seven miles away or something. Yeah, five or seven miles, yeah. Yeah. So there's no electric wires, and the no cell phone service is very slow, very tiny. Yeah, there's one dot of cellular all the way from Canada, which is 15 yes. miles across the ocean. Yes. So I went to sleep, and then I woke up, and I've never slept through the night like that for, for years now. And it was like, oh, okay, it's morning time. Let's get up. Let's get up. And Phoebe was barking and Larry was up and outside having it coffee. It was six o'clock in the morning. I know. It was ridiculous. I went, I went out the back door and I had my, um, pretty sure I was wearing sweats, but it might have just been underwear. I don't know. There's nobody to look. And I went outside to bare feet, walked around and listened to the Tweety Birds. And Phoebe and I went for a walk. It's just Shangri-La. I know. It's, and it's, so quiet, electrically. Yeah. Which... And psychically, too, because psychically. the next person was miles away, too. Oh, yeah. Remember when we were laying in bed, I was trying to find out who's the closest people each direction. Yeah, yeah. And one direction, it was about 15, 17, 20 miles. Another direction, it was four, four, 30 or something. Yeah. Another direction, there was probably about ocean. seven. <laughs> The other direction is ocean, so hundred. I don't know. It's Canada on the other side, right? Yep. So fifteen miles, I guess. Yeah, but, but there was um, nobody straight across. It was about seventeen. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, there's woods on the other side, huh? Yeah. It was an inter interesting experience to be close to home and yet so far away from people. Yeah. 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 When they fix the the road, it's gonna because now from the Shaman Shack we take and the, and the res both the same distance we take about two hours to get there yeah um, even though it's it's almost it's, and once they fix the road it's going to be 40 minutes so that's pretty sweet what other pretty sweet thing is uh, right after we signed on the dotted line and gave them their monies dump truck showed up to fix the hole in the road yes to fix the road <laughs> so that we could drive there the easy way instead of the hard way yeah so, okay, the land is guys. Okay, okay it's, it's yours. yours. Okay, so, we can fix the road now. You can, can get there easy. the road and people can drive through here now. <laughs> the post there sounds like home. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure if it, if it had gotten a proper exposure, we would have oh, had to fight price. so hard to get yeah, it. Oh, no. my gosh. Probably would have gone for 600000 or something. Easily, yeah. yeah. We paid 350000 Yeah, we would not be paying no 600000 Oh, no. Speaking of which, there are some opportunities coming. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. In June. So yeah, I'm gonna talk about. Well, actually, yeah. There's there's land. There's uh, all sorts of acreage um, near the res um, for what are those called? Auction, right? Near the Shaman Shack. Yeah. Um, they're for auction. So, it's like, if you do want to move to the peninsula, start looking at the auction land thing and see what your bid's in, man. Because we want high-frequency people moving to the area, and that's for sure. Maybe the next group of individuals can buy the 500 acres down the street. <laughs> yeah. That would be nice. That would make a nice community. Like, very big. 
decentralize, stay with your tribes, hang out with your uh, high frequency individuals. It's all there, man. Just do it. There's a 112 acre one. There's a 112 acre one? Yeah, that sign was just at 112 acres. Oh, we just saw a sign? I missed it. This one right here? Yeah. What? Want me to turn around again? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're, you can resist anything but temptation, I know. honey. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, you, I can't wait to see it. You just, I didn't even see it. I know. I don't know how you could have missed that. I know. It must be brand new because when I looked at the auction papers, uh, mm -hmm. site website, I yeah. didn't see no 120 or whatever acreage here. The nice thing about these um, forestry acreages is, uh, for the most part, the forest companies like to auction off the land that they can't flog it. And because it's beautiful, it's got all trees in it. It has so rivers or creeks and riparian areas and, areas and things areas. that they can't log. So it's like mm -hmm. useless, worthless land. For them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was the uh, funniest thing we found out that in order to uh, buy our land, one of the things we had was a, have a forestry plan. So a plan to cut down the trees, yeah. basically. We were thinking a forestry plan meant, you know, oh taking care of your gosh. forests. And it actually is. 113 acres? Yeah. Wow. I didn't even see this one. It's gorgeous. Look at that driveway. Yeah, you need four-wheel drive for that driveway. Ooh. Well, we'll see if we can get some people for, look, uh, bid package 101. We're going to see you on, um, on um, Walk With Me now, see if any peeps want to uh, do this with us and just start well, opportunities for people to move over. <laughs> what if someone is not in work with me now and wants to be part of the intentional community, say one of, if we get this 113 acres or something? Well, I think the Walk With Me Now isn't the... Uh, walk With Me Now is a good way to experiment with how do I get along with high-frequency people and what kind of things come up in my life. That's true, that's and true. And if you haven't even got the wherewithal to, you know, experience what it means to engage at a high frequency level with high frequency people, mm -hmm. then okay. probably no, didn't, okay. you don't want to be even thinking about starting doing something like this because it yeah. kind of, the good you eject yourself. Yes, yes. So it's a waste of your time. Well, I don't know about waste of your time, but you, we've had it's not comfortable. Yeah. It's not really fun. It's not it's comfortable. It's not fun for anyone. It's not fun for anyone, yeah. 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 Personally speaking, I only want to deal with individuals who are in work with me now because they know the ground rules, they know how we roll, we know that they know and we know that they're sovereign and responsible, responsible for themselves, for their stuff, and it's just a different equation completely. Plus, for me, it's it, important that they be a bride or a groom yeah. with a signed contract with Gaia. Exactly, signed the contract with Gaia. Because again, it's a similar type thing, it's like, it is, yeah. I know, and you know, both of us have the same intention. And partner. Yeah. Where and when we so, say forestry plan, we don't mean cutting all the damn trees <laughs> down. <laughs> yeah. Although we did have to do a forestry plan yeah, of did. cut the trees down. Yeah. <laughs> but we're goodness. not gonna carry it out. <laughs> Just because we still have to have the plan. We have the yeah, we need the plan for it. Plus and I think our plan says keep them. <laughs> you can cut them down if you want to, but you can keep them. So that's kind of a nice one. A nice plan. Yeah. Um but yeah, it's, it's like, to me, uh, individuals who are able to go to work with me now and be able to survive it, <laughs> not only that, but thrive and enjoy and be like, oh, finally and at home. Contribute and contribute. Contribute. Um, you know. Be super independent. Be supported and support supportive. Yeah, supported and supported. Basically, completing That's the it. circle, yeah. all these things that we talk about. Super important. Yeah, it's That's a I'm really good place to experiment. Individuals with. from what we you know to start these type of projects. Well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Which isn't to say other people can do whatever they want, but if you want to join with us? <laughs> exactly. This is the yeah. the minimum entry. Yeah, minimum entry for me. Yeah. Minimum entry. Yeah. 
Because you know, I have some friends who are fully awake and aware, who are not doing my, using my tools or doing the work that I teach. And gosh, you know, it's so hard. It's almost like, I don't know. I mean, they go through challenges and you say, hey, do the fear processing exercise. Like, no, no, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I'll do something else. Okay, but do it. Yeah, they, it's fine. And it's, Use your tool, whatever exactly. your tool is, but... They don't. They don't. And then it's like, oh my gosh, it's really tough. You know, it's really tough. It's hard work and tough to have friends who are not doing their work. And so it's like, yeah, friends at a distance. I love you very much, but um, I'm not going to start an intentional community with you. I'll just visit you once a month or yes. <laughs> <laughs> every other week or whatever. So we can hang out and we have co coffee and cookies. But, you know, that's, I'm not going to live next to you or do projects with you in any way or form. And I've had those type of friends who want me to do, like, events with them. Um, and they called me and stuff and then they invited me to, to do an event with them. And I'm like, no, thanks. You know, I'm actually not working with people who are not doing ba at least the basic stuff that I teach. Because I've done that in the past and it just didn't work out. It's so much hard work and you're doing, like kindergarten stuff at those workshops when you could be doing PhD like the the workshop that we did recently you know the instant manifestation one it's just like uh, nah. yeah that doesn't mean I don't love them still but yeah, you know, it's hard to not feel like it's a little bit um, you know What's the word? But I you... wouldn't do a project with them. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't work with them. Yeah, that's that's that's, <laughs> that's the thing. Difference. There are boundaries, and I I think that's one of the things that you have to acknowledge is when you're doing a manifestation with someone else, when you're doing a project, when you're joining your energy energy and forces and together. Yeah. If they are in alignment, geez, it's way nicer. Jeez, if they're if fast, they're gorgeous. there for a whole different agenda or they turn into they can't process the Their things stuff. that appear yeah. because we all live in the battle zone right now right uh -huh. yeah I did, if I didn't eat no breakfast this morning I was what do they call it hangry hangry yeah. I was hangry <laughs> yeah hungry bear <laughs> I know better than to get hangry I you know self police myself exactly I uh, sometimes I like I'm too busy to eat but I was like wait a minute we have a thing to do we gotta believe this. It's important that I take care of my body so that it's high frequency. Exactly. Yeah. So it's important for me to eat, mm -hmm. and I should drink something and maybe you know take care of my body and wash its hands or whatever yeah. you know the stuff. Yeah. Same thing with I'm walking around and I get stung with a um, oh my god what am I gonna do that's so much money we're gonna be broke. <laughs> that thought comes through. Where's yeah. that thought? Where Follow that? it. Process. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm afraid I'm gonna be. Blah blah. Say process. Yeah. Process that. Yeah. It's a daily thing, and every day, many times things come. Type thing. Yeah. Little. If and you're able stuck, to operate at that level, you yeah. stop it and stuck. And I'm not stuck and on people. Other people. Yeah. I'm not stuck on people just using my tools. Right. I use them, and I know that everybody that I know that uses them uses them because they are they are very effective and simple. Yeah. But at least do something, like use a tool that deals with those situations, you know. Yes, honey, you have made And if you have a better tools. one, I'm totally going to use it too. If you can find one that's better than mine, totally. I'm open for that. So far, nobody has given me one that's I better. know, I know. That's one of the things <laughs> I went through my period of time looking for five spiritual teachers to help um, broaden or widen our, my... Yeah, that's one of my things that I say to everybody. Find another five to three, three to five, three to five alternative, other alternative teachers so that teachers you can broaden and your, your, broaden your, your awareness and see different viewpoints. And sometimes not, we're, maybe seeing, not feel we're teaching the same thing, but we're using different words, and maybe those words will reach you faster, better, you know? Yeah. But it didn't work out too good did for people. It did not work out at all for me. I mean, I remember I went one person expressed oh here's fears here's fears you gotta isolate and locate your fears and so i said okay I, now what do you do with it there was nothing after that it was oh, just no. located and then oh, allow no. it to be 
now you have a bunch of fears. Oh, <laughs> now yeah. what are you going to do with them? Uh-huh. There's no process to deal with the energy yeah, about it. Right. It's just, yeah, you got it. Uh-huh. Yep, that's fear. Yeah. Now what? Yep, yep. There was nothing more. Yeah. And, so anyways, uh, yeah. that anyways. is the difference, right? That's what I'm talking about when you, you're working with individuals who are really working on themselves and they take full responsibility for all of their feelings, actions, and desires, and thoughts, and everything else. Like an adult, the result, the result of working with these individuals is amazing. Like fabulous, fabulous. And transparency of it, the transparency behind the energies is amazing also. And that includes us because I had a couple of big firewalls with regards to starting an intentional community. And I looked through them and I found the items and and I processed them and then I mentioned it to the group. And there was a little leftover, a tiny little bit that then we all looked at together and it's boom, you know, it was gone. Because when you work with other people and you look at things together, that act- activates something also. You know, you observe the, the tool that I teach, observation with a zero instead of an O. Um, that is really powerful to resolve things very quickly. And it's not like agenda-based resolution. It's, it's high-frequency resolution. So Sometimes we don't know which one is the most high-frequency thing. A result for an item and by observing it we get that so it might not be what we think we want <laughs> right yeah one of the other um, side effects of co-creating this instant manifestation process when you see something and you're acknowledging that you're a part of a larger group of people and your thing your, um, your whatever items needs to be you need to be responsible for what you're bringing exactly yeah so you're instead of holding it yourself. and carrying it and keeping it you either withdraw or you deal yes. deal with it process it clear it clean it yeah. clear clear and clean fields of co-creation yeah. yeah there's a tendency to like identify an issue or identify a thing but not do anything about it right or right. identify it and Give it reasons give it or importances. Importances. Or use it. <laughs> maybe even baby step it. You know, yeah, it's baby like step baby it, steps yeah. is like for the babies. I know. Yeah. We're past the baby stage. I know. We are past it. I mean, there's still <laughs> there's still a place for baby steps. Maybe five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> right now, you just you see split. it, handle it. You have to handle stay. it now. You do need you to be. You cannot baby step anything. You need to do it. Right? You need to be right. You need to do it. Yeah. Um, and that's amazing to witness it. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, impeccability, right? Yeah. Impeccability and it's uh, integrity yeah. and it's surety and certainty. Yeah. You don't have to run around with doubts. Certainty. I suppose it's still it's still a process. Yeah, it is. But it is a real pleasure to work with people who are. Oh, I know. Together. And some of these individuals, they have family who are not using the tools. Yeah. And what we decided was, okay, so that's fine. But you're responsible for their shit. <laughs> you're responsible for theirs. What they might bring. <laughs> yeah. So you're responsible for that person. Yeah. Right? And you deal with that person because. You can't bring like the, the other person's BS into the group, right? It's a, you have to deal with it. You're responsible for that person that you bring in. Maybe, if, maybe it's your kid. Maybe it's your spouse. Maybe it's your girlfriend or boyfriend. But you're responsible for those people. They don't have to like be, uh, be rejected from the community because they're not doing the fear processing exercise or other tools. Or maybe they have no tools. Um, they don't have to like do the tools or become. They don't like, have to be part of Walk with Me now either. They don't even have to be part of Walk with Me now. Or Brighter Group of Gaia. Or that, as long as you, as the member of this community, is the primary person of the, the the member, then deal with that and become responsible for that. It's perfectly fine. Yep. Right. 
So I've got, I've got Brett, my son, right? And he's not doing the fear processing exercise. He refuses to do it. <laughs> I think he might have done it a few times and then he's like, oh, I don't have any more fear. So I'm good. <laughs> we know that one, right? Yeah, we've heard that one. Before. Yeah. And, um, but I mean, I teach him to be very response-able, but he's not doing, um, he hasn't done the other work. I mean, he's still a young kid. Uh, so when we're in a group, when we're working together, or we're in the community, or when we're building this intentional community, I'm responsible for him. Yep. Right? So if he starts acting up or doing things or bringing in stuff, it's I am the one who need, needs to deal with him directly and to put a stop to it, basically. Right. right. And other people have spouses who don't do or don't do any spiritual work or self growth work or anything, and they're responsible for their spouses and their children and any friends they might bring along, or whatever, so, you know, mm-hmm. or friends, girlfriends, or whatever. So, so yeah, I, I think that that is the way forward at a global scale too individuals who listen to our podcast are familiar with our work and they're the ones who are doing it and responsible for their own lives and any friends, spouses, children boyfriends, girlfriends or whatever um, they're they're the responsible one, right? They can't be blaming others for making them unhappy or whatever they have to take responsibility but also, you can actually build a community with individuals who are not working on themselves as long as they're not like low frequency people. Um, as long as you have a core of individuals who are working on themselves and, and are totally 100% responsible for themselves. Right. And the, you but know, again, I don't know if it's going to work because this is an experiment. So you know, we're first try, <laughs> first whack at it. Well, it ain't exactly okay. our first whack at it it's because the other ones didn't even get off the ground. <laughs> right, right. The other ones did not. Because this one has made it all the way before. to getting land. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, now we're at the part of well, how do we utilize it as yes. a group? Yes. Exactly. What do we do there? Mm-hmm. And how do we're we do that? We're thinking of starting a patron to for everybody to share and film the development and the evolution of it as a project of a high frequency intentional community and that would be really great because it would also bring in funds for projects that we need to do there like get free free, uh, free energy and, uh, or other types of energy solar and wind and water and also how to develop uh, the community the common spaces, you know, the community areas, and everybody's journey, because everybody's journey has been so amazing and unique around Definitely this project. Unique. It would be amazing to be able to share that, and at the same time, individuals can map to it and support the project with their patronage. You know? I suppose, yeah. I guess we could check and see if people are interested in doing some kind of a Patreon or a uh, subscribe star or something yeah. that has the basically the personal videos of everything that we're it's doing yeah. and how you're how you experienced the process and yeah. what kind of things came up in your life and the how these realizations cleared and the consequences of it you know the the journey of base basically there's yeah. there's 10 different people 10 different journeys yes <laughs> and i'm sure 10 different uh, perceptions of how things went yes, <laughs> yes. it would be fascinating uh, just for the sake of well, for me to hear it, yeah. but I'm sure other people who are interested in starting, you know, groups or intentional communities or to buy lands together mm-hmm. or buy, basically, you know, gather their power, their manifesting ability together in a group towards a goal of some form, yes. some kind. I mean, just the land is a thing, but we have many things on land that will come. Yes. It would be really fascinating. And once we get uh, internet there, probably Starlink or something, sure. <laughs> we could have a webcam uh, part of the Patreon. You know, people can subscribe Ooh, yeah, to the webcam. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. The live cam. See if you can see any Sasquatch. <laughs> and they can get fossils in the mail for their subscribers. Oh, yeah, the subscribers can get fossils in the mail. That is fossil. fun. Because mm-hmm. remember, we're also going to do a fossil coins. Yes. Our first, our fossil first coins. cryptocurrency <laughs> backed by fossils. Yeah. I don't know about so you guys, have to mark but the fossils somehow so that people if you live if you live on a fossil beach and you have a pile of fossils, eventually you're going to have a safe full. Yes. So we'll have a museum. 
Yes, we'll have a museum. Full of fossils to back our fossil coins. Yes. It's going to be glorious. Glorious. Okay. How do you feel, honey? I feel complete. That's good because we've arrived. We have arrived. Give me a kiss. I love you. I love you too.